So today we are at Greenwood Secondary School and Danforth Collegiate Institute, which are both in the same building. We invited local politicians, um, namely Julie Debrusen, who is the Member of Parliament, and Peter Tabins, who is the Member of Provincial Parliament, to come in for a Q&A style um, town hall where the students can ask their most pressing questions and have the politicians speak to those questions. You know, they had the opportunity to collaborate with Danforth, which was good because we have Canadians at Danforth, and all of our students are coming from you know various countries. So um, you know, students stepped up into their leadership role, and you know, and have an open discussion with um, political members, like with members of parliament, like challenges that they face coming to this country, and what support services are put into place to help um, to help um, these families. Each school should provide more assemblies or workshops to give them more um, more experience about leadership training. For example, taking place in student council, uh, it's part of volunteering and leadership. Uh, volunteering is very important for each individual, each student. It's important for people to get involved in the grassroots organizations in their communities that they care about because that is how voices are heard, that's how governments decide on their policies and change policies. Young people have the energy, they have the commitment, they have the interest, and when they volunteer, when they become activists, then they can have a huge impact on society. I went to a uh, farmer's market. I learned how to interact with the community. I kind of learned how things were set up. Like, I've always been to farmer's markets, but I've, I've, they always just kind of seem to be there. In our district, we have to do 40 hours. There are not many better feelings than, than knowing that your, imp, you, your impact is felt all across the community. The Trinity translated the idea, or I got is the idea like, how, how to know and understand the community. It's not every day and, and see the student uh, that they power or the, the ideas when I interchange with an MP. Like in my country back home, Syria, and for example, Bangladesh, and many other countries, it's impossible to meet politicians. I've, I've seen them before, but I haven't really got to sp gotten to speak to them. Uh, on a personal level and I thought there is no one road to getting to a leadership position. Giving them the feeling that they can go out and talk directly to politicians. For us as teachers, as educators, to facilitate that, give them that voice and that chance to address concerns that they had. You're never too young to make your voice heard. 